Tada! Hi guys! You are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mukisa Queen from Uganda, East Africa. And I'm currently in Saudi Arabia working as a home nurse. So if you're watching me for the first time, please, I kindly request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because on this channel, you are going to move with me on my journey as a Kadama or a house nurse in Saudi Arabia. So on this channel, I'm bringing you different stories about my journey in Saudi Arabia. It's so scary, but fun. So allow me to enjoy with you. Okay. So please, before I continue, please, I can beg you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Mwah. Okay. Like I told in the last video, my part two of my story, if you haven't watched, you can click in the playlist and you'll get to see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's start. Today I'm talking about part three, the day they brought me to Mecca, the journey to Mecca. Oh my God. Okay. My journey to Mecca was so hectic. Hell. Hell like hell. I'll never forget this journey to Mecca. It was on the 2nd of June that I was deployed. They called me in the morning and told me to prepare from office. I prepared and they put me in a van with different girls from different nationalities. I think that day I traveled with Philippines. Yes, I traveled with Philippines. And they don't know any English. The ones I moved with, they only knew their language. And the driver only knew Arabic. Oh my God. There was no one that knew English. One. Secondly, my journey took us almost four hours actually it took us four hours to reach my destiny but throughout the journey i prayed i cried i spoke in languages i don't want to scare you that is watching me but i think you really need to know this because the reason to why I'm sharing my story, I want to motivate someone out there and to tell you that you don't have to get scared in life. Everything that happens, happens for a reason. When I was traveling, when they were bringing me, when they were driving me to Mecca, I remember asking the driver where we were going because I saw my friends being, being deployed and I was not reaching my destiny. And another thing, Mecca is in like mountains it's surrounded with mountains big big stones for people who have ever moved to saudi arabia i know you know what saudi arabia is like so it's so scary though you see many businesses going around they're driving their cars and they're not minding about it so i remember the driver counseling me telling me hey young girl chill like but in trying to speak because i'm someone who can learn language very easily so i can and I speak listen but i can't speak so as he was driving i could call him where are we going where are we going but he could tell me sure like yeah, tell, telling me to calm down Oh my god i prayed i prayed i prayed because remember like i told you in my part two of experience my first like my first experience in saudi arabia in my part one and part two for you as watched the video i told you that i'd so far moved in five houses so where i am right now it's it is the sixth house and i thank god that you reached well as much as the place was very far we reached well and the most scaring part was now the contract time for signing the contract like oh my god they had they had paid for two years like two years oh i was like oh my god but one thing i will not i will never forget is the driver telling me please young girl i pray for you to work because you know the situation around and these people are good so i entered with those words in my head and i'm like yes they're good they're good they're good and they were so welcoming yes they were welcoming i entered but unfortunately my patient was not around she was still in the hospital she stayed there for two days that's when she was brought back home and indeed I called the driver maybe a, 
a prophetess because he told me they were good and you will feel good and with so much prayers i okay i would be bad if i don't say that i would re i'm really thanking god that ever since i came to mecca it has been a peace of mind it has been a peace of mind and everything is moving okay everything is moving okay i'm someone who hates negativity so i always speak only positivity in my life i only want to tell myself good things i don't care about the disadvantages about the negative things about what the demerits mm -mm. so that is me <laughs> so my sisters my brothers that is going to watch this video i want to encourage you or oh, if you're new and you're planning to come to saudi arabia or oh, you're already in saudi arabia and your your company your company your company is this type of company that if the client fails you you can go back please don't give up and don't fear you get don't fear don't die for nothing if you see things are not working out please call your people of the office or tell your bosses to take you back to office they can always do that you get i don't know but for us that is what our company does and i thank god it has never happened to me like i've always prayed and i still pray that such things don't happen to my life like if i'm like i don't know how, how to say it but i pray for good things only so whoever is going to watch this video and you're in any country working i pray that god blesses you and gives you the strength to work and give you favor mercy love everything let your bosses provide for you let your bosses be good to you let them take you like their own let them take you like their own it is possible i know so many people are talk a lot of things mostly i don't know why they're always full of negativity but try to put positivity in yourself you will handle there's nothing that is impossible in front of god's eyes yes so for you that is watching my video for the first time i can't beg you please subscribe subscribe to mokisa queen you're not going to regret so that is what happened in my part three so Tara, I think you should wait for another story, another story, another story, my daily, day-to-day -day life. Mr. Gera, subscribe. I love you so much. I'm out. May the Almighty God bless you for me. Mwah.